Bring it on. Elon Musk just challenged Russia's space leader, who claimed their new rocket will put Falcon 9 reuse to shame. So, what is Russia's new rocket? How did this new rocket put Falcon 9 to shame? Is Falcon 9 really at a disadvantage against it? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. The once praised missile industry sector of Russia is now only a whisper of its former self. They are experiencing a significant decline due to various factors, including outdated missile teams, government budget cuts, and the war in Ukraine pushing away Western customers. However, it is difficult for the leaders of this country to explain these difficult truths to the Russian people. Russians are justifiably proud about their country's heritage of space first and dominant position in space. Therefore, Russian officials typically try to bluster. This is something that the head of Roscosmos, Yuri Borisov, recently did in a lecture at the Cholovsky State Museum of the History of Cosmonautics. Before the audience of students and tourists at the museum, Yuri Borisov made bold statements about the country's future rocket launch plans that left us hard to believe. If the Falcon 9, as a rule, is used more than 10 times, our new Methalox first stage will be reusable at least 50 and perhaps up to 100 times, Borisov said. That alone will pay for its development cost. Well, this is indeed blatant deceit. The globally renowned launches of Falcon 9 have reached such heights that it makes one wonder whether the head of Roscosmos is unintentionally or intentionally overlooking the records achieved by SpaceX's rockets. This also becomes rather ridiculous for Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX. He tweeted right below the article discussing the matter, saying, Bring it on! as a fair invitation to battle. He surely has great confidence in Falcon 9's capabilities through the achievements the rockets attained, mainly the records that, until now, no one else has been able to do. Clearly, Russia is indeed a dreamer like no other. Borisov's words seem to be nothing more than veiled attempts to cover up his country's deteriorating rocket launch situation. It's a superficial response to those wondering why SpaceX has launched three dozen rockets so far in 2024, while Russia has only managed to assemble half a dozen. Borisov's lies have gone so far that we can judge he's out of touch with the news in his own market. Now, let's together find out what the new rocket that Roscosmos proudly boasts about is. In fact, Russia's new rocket is actually not new at all. It's been deployed since 2020 by Russia's space agency, Roscosmos. This is a medium-weight rocket called a MIR, which even at a preliminary glance is clearly inspired by the first and only existing reusable rocket, SpaceX Falcon 9. Besides borrowing the overall design strategy from SpaceX, the reusable rocket will feature landing legs, fins, and heat shield grids, similar to what we see on Falcon 9. However, it's still a paper rocket. Russia's openly talked about this propulsion system for the past four years, claiming it'll be capable of lifting 10.5 tons in the low Earth orbit for just 22 million US dollars. This would provide a competitive alternative to the Falcon 9 if it materializes. Unfortunately, this rocket has been publicly announced by Russian officials to debut in 2026, but to date, we've gotten no updates on that progress. Moreover, recently, Borisov indicated that its first launch might get pushed back to 2028 or 29. Anyone following the rocket launch industry knows what that means. The hardware for Amur doesn't exist, and all plans to develop it are purely speculative. It may never materialize. This seems to have been predicted earlier, even when the concept of this rocket was first announced. Russia has clearly decided that if you can't beat him, join him with its new design for a reusable booster, he wrote. Alas, no flights until at least 2026 means it'll be at least 15 years behind the Falcon 9. Russia is lucky SpaceX doesn't innovate. Ha, space reporter Eric Berger tweeted. The story's progression isn't beyond his predictions. Russia's new rocket, if aiming to catch up with SpaceX, would require a significant amount of time, possibly even decades. Simply put, it took SpaceX over five years after the debut of Falcon 9 to successfully land the initial stages. It took another five years for the company, known for its rapid development pace, to begin regularly reusing those initial stages. Finally, it took 14 years for the first Falcon 9 rocket to fly 20 times. So if Russia introduces the Amur vehicle in the coming years, under the best circumstances, we could expect Roscosmos to fly stage 20 times by the mid-2040s. By then, the empire of partially reusable rockets will likely be completely overshadowed by SpaceX's fully reusable spacecraft. Of course, despite achieving the goal of creating a MIR, Russia would still be outdated and outmoded. A truth that many Russian officials don't want to hear is that Russia will never catch up with SpaceX, whether in the present or the future. Even though they recently achieved the milestone of successfully landing the Angara rocket, it's still a vehicle manufactured three decades ago and to this day only launches into Earth orbit with mock payloads. 
In contrast to this, Falcon 9 remains the busiest launch vehicle on the planet. To date, Falcon 9 has launched a total of 334 times, with 300 successful landings and 271 reflights of the first stage boosters that successfully launched their payloads. Just in the first quarter of this year alone, SpaceX has conducted 39 Falcon 9 launches, out of a total goal of 148 launches for the year, once again increasing from the 98 launches it completed last year. Furthermore, with its recent launch, Falcon 9 successfully landed its booster for the 20th time, setting a new record for SpaceX's reusability capability. In the future, the company plans to seek certification for 40 landings and possibly even more if feasible. This has sent shockwaves through the space industry, as no rocket company has been able to do this before. Moreover, SpaceX has also achieved a record turnaround time between launches. SpaceX's ability to rapidly turn around launch pads is poised to help them achieve their goals for the year. Goals they are currently on track to meet. Well, such remarkable development cannot be hidden. Yet Roscosmos officials pretend not to notice. Do they still believe they hold the key to the cosmos? To be honest, Russia's golden age story is long gone and now's the time for a new era. Ever since the Soviet Union's collapse, the Russian space program has been run pragmatically for cash. Using time-tested technology, Russia sees leadership in the commercial launch market. But SpaceX's persistence and ingenuity and its success in bringing down costs by reusing rockets made it the likely market leader and possibly even more profitable. The Falcon 9 was certainly the most successfully launched rocket in the world. Roscosmos has acknowledged the SpaceX threat, which it spent years poo-pooing, and is working to reduce launch costs by 20% and reuse rocket components. But Musk companies ahead of the game for now, and won't be easy to catch. Many Russians who are jealous of Musk's success point out the fact that he hasn't gotten where he is without government support, technical assistance from NASA, as well as billions in government subsidies. But the rest of the U.S. aerospace industry gets lots of government money too. And that goes for European, Chinese, Japanese, and Indian space programs. The private passion of a socially clumsy, irritating, science fiction reading, electric roadster driving geek has done more to establish SpaceX's leadership than any state support could have done. As for us cosmos, it's not that they have nothing in hand. They still have rockets to carry out space missions. However, the two rockets in use, Soyuz 2, dating back to 1966, although the most frequently flown and statistically safest rocket ever produced, and the Proton series, also based on 60s technology, have both been upgraded. Yet compared to newly developed launch systems, this technology is outdated. Of course, Russians are researching new rocket lines, but the economic downturn due to the war does not make this any more optimistic. Overall, given the current situation in Russia, there is no chance they could embarrass SpaceX's Falcon 9 as Borisov, the space agency head, has stated. With Russia now, attention has shifted more to military matters than what's up in space. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.